449 videos in and we're finally creating our formalized type. So underneath the system index here, we've added a type index and we have two types, a global tile coordinate and a local tile coordinate. Chronological order is here, dependency order is here. Let's go down. And this section here, this is also a new section. It's beneath top level constant macros. It's called top level types. Here's the order in which certain types of data should be included in this file. We have constants, types, data, and functions in that exact order for reasons that I can't go over in this video because we don't have time. So this is the constructor for a global tile coordinate. Here are the members, global tile X and global tile Y. Here is our constructor for the local tile coordinate. It has the hotel cell X and Y, the room cell X and Y, and the local tile X and Y. And we spit it out here. Okay, let's go down further. We have two members, or not members, uh, global instances of local tile cord and global tile cord. And these are going to be reusable objects for the mermaid system. So D mermaid, LTC, GTC for global and local, or actually local and global respectively here. And so this is the mermaid data section. We've added two pieces of reusable data so that we don't thrash the garbage collector. Then down here in the tile boy function, we have created stubs for a function that's going to take an input object, global tile coordinate, output object, local tile coordinate. Here's the input, here's the output. We are just stubbing in the logic for now. Here's the inverse function, input object, local tile coordinate, output object, global tile coordinate. And did I even say that right? I don't know. Local tile coordinate to global tile coordinate, right? So here's the input local, here's the output global. It's gonna be passed out by reference, like C99 style output parameter, right? So we stub this in as well. There's no logic yet. Down here, this is eventually where we are going to use these functions, right? We're gonna use those conversion functions here and here inside of the isolated bilateral and radial plot point mirroring code. Here's what we did previously, footnotes, and what we did in this video. If you want a longer explanation, you'll have to go to this playlist. You are on this playlist. Like, subscribe, send money in the mail. I'm Kanji Coder.